News's new video just released in the deadly Rust movie set shooting. Police photographing and questioning actor Alec Baldwin at the scene. And that video is just a fraction of the body camera video that police just gave us moments ago. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa in tonight for Pat Harvey. For the first time tonight, we are seeing what happened in the frantic minutes and hours after the shooting. Our Chris Holmstrom is live in our newsroom now. And Chris, you've actually been going through the videos and the evidence tonight. Yeah, there's definitely a lot going on here, Jeff and Susie. We have a team of people going through the body camera videos. There's hours of footage to look at. The Sheriff's Office in New Mexico, they released the videos and photos from its investigation into that deadly shooting last October. So take a look. Among the videos is this clip. It is the first time that we've seen actor Alec Baldwin holding the gun that would eventually kill cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Obviously, more videos released today show first responders running into this church on the New Mexico movie set where a wounded Hutchins and director Joel Souza were being treated on the floor. Police also released photos of the gun that fired that fatal shot. Then there's this video of evidence. Now, tech photographing Alec Baldwin on the set just right after that shooting happened. Several detectives then spoke with Baldwin, and we also have parts of the interviews, which were done on the set and also at the sheriff's station. Take a listen. Mr. Baldwin, Detective Roy Iron. Nice to meet you, sir. Are you doing okay? No, I'm not, actually. I don't know if this is suspected blood or real blood. No, this is fake. Fake, okay. Just leave that stuff on, sir. Um, yeah, I'll leave them on right now. So I'm going to talk to my crime scene tech. Let me know what you want to do. I take the gun out, and as I take it, like, as it clears, as the barrel clears, I turn and cock the gun over here. I turn and cock the gun, the gun goes off. It's supposed to be a cold gun. This is a puzzle to me, and this is making me very emotional now. Yeah, just watching that video, very emotional for sure. So Baldwin continues to maintain that he never pulled the trigger. Also, the Sheriff's Department has not released firearm and ballistic reports, fingerprint analysis, and also data collected from Baldwin's phone. And it has not said when that information will be coming out. But Susie and Jeff, we're still coming through all of the video, all of the images, a lot more to sure. come. And yeah. we'll have much more tonight on CBS 2 News at 11. Right. Very good. Chris, thank you so much. Yeah. And this is developing.